find the Laurent series for f of z equals 1 over z plus z squared in this region right here. Let's go ahead and do this solution. So this is a formula that we're going to rely on as we work through this problem. That formula says that if we have 1 over 1 minus w, that's equal to the sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of w to the n. And this is true if the modulus of w is less than 1. So in our problem, we have to take what we have and somehow incorporate this formula. So let's go ahead and start it. So f of z, well, that's equal to 1 over z plus z squared. So we know that the modulus of z is less than 1, so we can just somehow manipulate this to make it look like this. Well, the natural thing to do maybe is factor out 1 over z. If you do that, you end up with 1 over 1 plus z. We're almost there. The 1 over z is kind of hanging out, so there's no issues with that. It's the plus sign we have to worry about. Well, we can fix that by writing this as 1 over z times 1 over 1 minus negative z. Right? Negative and negative is positive. And now we can use the formula. Our w here is negative z. And we know that the modulus of w, which is the modulus of negative z, is the modulus of z, and that's less than 1, right? Boom. So this is equal to 1 over z. And we have the infinite sum, where n starts at 0 and goes to infinity, of negative z to the n. So the rest of the work will just be cleaning this up and making it look a little bit better. So this can be written as follows. The sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. Now we can simplify negative z to the n. Negative z to the n is really negative 1 times z to the n. And this is really negative 1 to the n z to the n, using the laws of exponents. So this is negative 1 to the n, z to the n, and we can distribute the 1 over z, so this is being divided by z. We can keep going. This is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, z to the n minus 1. Now, I guess if you like, you could stop here. Um, if you want it as a power of z, for example, if you want your series to be a power of z to the k, you can make a substitution. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me use a different color. So if you want this to be k, well, you just call it k. So let k equal n minus 1. So when k is n minus 1, well, what is n? Well, in this case, n is equal to k plus 1. So this will be equal to the sum. And let's see, n here starts at 0. So when n is 0, k is negative 1. So now our series will start at negative 1. It's still going to go to infinity. And then this is negative 1 to the n. But n is equal to k plus 1. So this is k plus 1 times z. And n minus 1, well, we said that was k. So z to the k. And so that is the final answer. I hope this helps.